Hey everybody, this is Jason Akers with Green Acres Pest Control. Today, I wanna to talk about the top five places you want to treat for roaches in your kitchen. So hopefully, this will help you eliminate cockroach infestations. This is for both PCOs and the do-it-yourselfer. Hopefully, this will help. And if you have any questions, think about leaving me a comment below. If you really like the video, give me a thumbs up. Share it. You guys have a great day. Oh, and also, if you enjoy content like this, think about subscribing to my channel. I'm going to start doing a live stream every month in order to answer some questions that you guys have. I also have a uh, service that I offer for people that if you need to ask me any questions at all, you can go on to a link that I will put in the description below and it will give you all kinds of information. I, uh, I will give you, I, I typically what I, what I do is I talk to you for about a half hour or so on the phone and I can go over some uh, basic pest control techniques and hopefully I can help you guys out. But like I said, all of my links will be in the description below. Uh, maybe I'll just do a, ta uh, a comment too in the top comments. But uh, anyway, you guys have a real great day. I really appreciate it. And like I said, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Now, I'm going to show you places to treat. All right. So you got your water heater. Take this right here. Sticky there. All right, so I got that off of there. Let's check around here and see what we find. There's your insulation. There's your wiring. Get it's a little warm. Don't let it worry you. If you're really concerned, you can always flip off the breaker to the water heater. But um, usually if you're just really, really careful, you're not gonna get electrocuted or anything like that. See, those are holding the, the foam insulation in. And so what you do is now that it's open, a lot of times when you open these, you'll actually find roaches living all up inside here. And so you can put a little bit of bait like around in this area and then seal it on back up. All right. So you're underneath the sink, and you... All right, so a lot of the places that roaches like to live under a sink are right up there around your basin. So you'll actually see those little cracks. If I can get my finger to go up in there, I can't. <laughs> but uh, those little cracks there, the roaches will live there. So you wanna treat those spots because it's a crack. Any crack that the roaches could be living in, you want to ensure that you treat in those spots because if the roaches uh, only have pesticide areas to live in, they, uh, they die. Also, the hinges. So you've got a hinge here on your, you know, underneath your sink. You can put a little bit of bait maybe up a, around the edges of your hinges underneath this little crack here because you can't really spray there because it'll run all down all down your cabinet base so you can put a little bit around inside the crack around where that inside there just a little bit less than a pea size amount so now we're at the microwave if you open your microwave door there's a little latch where the door latches see that now this is not inside the cook surface area but in this little area right here it's a little hole and a lot of times your roaches We'll get up behind your panel there. So what you can do is you can put a little bit of bait all the way up in that little hole right up inside there and they'll find it and you want to check on it. Like I said, you put a little bit there and there inside that hole and they will find it. They will eat it and then you want to make sure that you replenish your bait every, uh, every month. Coffee makers are the worst. So when you go around here, this coffee maker, much like a Keurig, has a water tank. And see, there's water in that. Roaches are attracted to water. So you want to flip it. Now, I'm not gonna do it now, because it's got water in it. And so you wanna empty the water. 
you want to turn it upside down and you see those legs right here you want to put a little bait around inside your legs of uh, the coffee maker like I said every model is different yours might have a grill on the bottom or something you only want to put a very little bit because you don't want to inhibit the ability of the coffee maker to make coffee sometimes they have a vent on the bottom in order to help the machine cool down you know you don't want to cause a fire you don't want to cause anything like that but you can bait inside the coffee makers all right so see this this is your weather stripping around your refrigerator door if you peel that back here a lot of times you can find roaches living inside that groove now they don't live in the refrigerator they live inside that groove right there. So you can put a little bit of bait inside there too. And I actually highly recommend you do that on every refrigerator. Even if you don't see, even if you don't see anything in there, you wanna peel that back and put a little bit of bait in there because the roaches can live there and they will live there. All right, so hopefully those areas will help you. Uh, all of which are places that roaches do live, that roaches will find your bait, they will die, and you will be successful at eliminating cockroaches in a kitchen. Hopefully this has been helpful to you. Like I said, give me a comment below if you have any questions. I'm gonna work up another video on places to treat with a liquid application. There was one in here, you know, about under the sink and everything, but I'm actually gonna give you a video on how to treat for cockroaches and what pesticides work the best on cockroaches. Also down below, I'm going to link you a, uh, I've got an Amazon webpage where you can go and you can look at all the tools that I use as a professional on how to get rid of roaches, how to get rid of bed bugs, fleas, spiders, all kinds of stuff. I'm going to go ahead and link that below too. And you'll notice that in some of my categories, the same chemicals are listed because the same chemicals work for multiple different problems. So hopefully this has been helpful to you. Like I said, if you really like the video, think about subbing to my channel. I do live streams, I answer questions, I'm just here trying to help you guys out. Y'all have a real, real great day, I appreciate it. I look forward to the next time.